What is up, ladies and G's? Chebec, Cheboy, D1 Snipes. Competitive search and destroy on Detroit. We're going on offense search this time. Destroy. It is Sentinel. Uh, for most teams, the A push is the way to go. Although, I have a strategy for a B push. Uh, well, we will cover that in the second destroy half of this video. Objective. For the first half, uh, what we're going to do is your OBJ taking the bomb right up the middle. Uh, this guy will not challenge. I repeat, this will not be your guy to challenge because if he dies right here, they may not know Bomb is down, but you don't want to give him that chance. If Bomb goes down right here, uh, you guys are in deep shit. You want probably your best player coming right here if you were on uh, offense. But what your OBJ is going to do, he's going to watch this push right in here. Uh, he's going to watch for a push in the office from the defense, and he's also going to just just kind of chill out here make sure that you guys don't get pushed from this side right here because uh, this is a quick flanking route for the defense that we'll talk about later but as soon as your best player gets this first pick right here uh, that's when your OBJ moves up and your flank guy moves up to like maybe this corner or something like that but we're gonna talk about that later with him uh, like I said your OBJ checking this spot as soon as he gets first pick BAM coming to plant right here on the outside of the bomb uh, your main slayer, whoever that may be, is going to go into this green room and your OBJ is coming right back here. Great spot to watch the flank from. Uh, just chilling right here, making sure you stay up as long as possible. Uh, maybe you rotate your flanker uh, back to this building or maybe this corner. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to play this, but this right here is just going to be your OBJ's work. Uh, as soon as he gets that bomb down after that first pick, he's right back to the office. Uh, maybe even right back here to keep them uh, out of the green room and uh, just just away from the bomb in general because in this map you should as the defense should rotate back and just hold your half of the map but uh, in this case you just, you just want to hold this side uh, make sure nobody flanks you and support your slayer who's going to be in green um, Back here with your uh, main slayer and or sniper AR, uh, this guy is going to be your first pick guy. He's going to be the main one trying to challenge that guy in green or the guy on the steps. Uh, Destroy the objective. <coughs> this guy will not pick up bomb, but what he's going to do, try and get to this trash can as fast as he can. Now, the defense may try and nade stun this. Um, really depends on what kind of defense they are whether they want to know where you are or whether they want to save their nades and try to use them to get you off the bomb uh, preferably I like to get people off the bomb but I know some people love to know where you are so really depends on the team you're playing uh, adjust accordingly but what he's doing is uh, you're just trying to get this pick in green 100% this is your main responsibility uh, if you can get this pick in green uh, your team is gonna the success rate uh, this A push is going to go up uh, tenfold, guarantee it. Uh, if you can get that first pick, or even this first pick, uh, this first pick is pretty important. That allows somebody to rotate into office and push through really quickly, maybe even your OBJ, depending on how good a slayer he is. Uh, just depends on whether you want to trust him or not. But if you can get that first pick and then instantly get into green, uh, your team is pretty much set from here on out. Uh, you can watch watch the back right here uh, just make sure nobody's rotating back uh, let your OBJ um, work this middle alley and this really allows you to roam uh, pick up kills maybe challenging your OBJ get people rotating mid street or in the back of their base uh, this is just a really powerful position on uh, offense with the bomb we down that fight, but it's not over. Uh, right here we're going to be talking about your uh, second sniper. Uh, this will be the second best player that you have that uses a sniper rifle. His main job is to help get this first pick. Uh, really after you guys get this first pick, it is so important on the A side, but if you can get that first pick and get the bomb down, it's really, really difficult to uh, break a setup right here. Uh, your main job is after you get that first pick, let your slayer get into green let your OBJ work this box after he gets the bomb down uh, you need to cover this mid alley obviously while he's planning but as soon as he gets away uh, just turn behind you uh, they should be flanking you pretty hard depending on whether your OBJ wants to sit mid alley 
or right here, uh, you do the opposite. Um, if he's watching mid alley and likes that spot, switch to your BAO and just kind of sit right here. Uh, it's not a real hard job. You've got a pretty good head glitch, a lot of cover. You can get away quickly. They're forced to stay inside a room. But that's basically all your job is to do is just help get that first pick and then help on the flank. Uh, right here we're going to be talking about your last guy. This guy can do a variety of things uh, depending on whether he's a good sniper, a good communicator. Uh, one good thing that I like to do is watch this cross to uh, see for flankers. Uh, if you see a guy jet across there, uh, you know 100% sure that he's on this half of the map. And uh, you can really uh, take into account for him being back there. If you get two picks over here and you know there's one more guy maybe in school or mid street, uh, this lets you know, hey, there's for sure a guy on flank. Uh, you can lay up here almost until the round ends. Uh, you're just constantly watching for this flank, but also be aware that uh, he, he may have seen you up there. Uh, if you want to get real aggressive, you can challenge that spot right there. Uh, depends on how good a sniper you are. Uh, usually I don't like to challenge this on offense unless you've got a top-notch sniper. You can double jump, you might get a pick here. You can even see back into their base a little bit. But basically all you're doing is looking for that cross and watching the flank. A uh, good spot to watch this from is even back here. Uh, this lets you see this whole back half of the map. It lets you cut the uh, the map in half if you have the bomb down. It's just all around a good spot to watch the flank from, and it's not very uh, expected by the uh, defense that could be flanking you. Uh, what we're going to be doing for the B push is a fake A push. Uh, there's really no other way, good way to do this without the defense catching on very, very quickly. Uh, if they're not getting naded, obviously in green room, that's another thing that you guys should do on that side. Uh, I don't I don't like to use my nades early in a round. That's just my style. I know a lot of people that do. They do get a lot of good picks with them. Uh, do not jump. There's going to be a guy watching this mid. Uh, most of the time, you can get away with it. But uh, your OBJ and your main slayer need to go B. And then... Well, all right, let's just, let's go with your OBJ first and we'll explain everybody else's. So the OBJ is just going to straight make a run through here. Uh, after you get to this point right here, this is when you need to start looking for the player that's watching B for them. Uh, you want to make this quiet uh, until either, you want to make this quiet until the first kill. So as you guys make your way up through here, there should be a guy in here 100% but you want to try and just chill out here and wait for the first pick either by you or the other team and I'll explain why that is after it happens. Um, just clearing out these rooms uh, just kind of making sure nobody rotates. Your main slayer needs to literally be on top of this guy as he's planning and I'll explain why that is here in just a second. Uh, this is such an easy spot to play it from and it's it's a very easy trade spot. If someone comes in unless they're two piecing you uh, you should be pre-aiming this door because you have a dirty head glitch right here that's very hard to kill somebody off of uh, and you could probably knife somebody back here but your main slayer uh, needs to stay in this room I prefer the OBJ to sit here or uh, right here uh, this is kind of an awkward spot but a lot of people that jump in this window don't really look right there and it's kind of hard I mean it's a weird spot like I said and you can pick up kills from there and there just kind of looking back and forth uh, it's a pretty easy job for the OBJ but he's got to be very smart and very patient here we're gonna be talking about what your main slayer is looking for going with the OBJ here uh, the OBJ will have the bomb obviously but he is just gonna come right along with the OBJ and play this trade uh, this can either be your main slayer. I like to have it as the main slayer because he trades the kills the best, in my opinion. I feel like that's what your main slayer should be. But uh, it can also be anybody that you guys believe trades kills well and would be able to play the OBJ. It's kind of like your second OBJ spot. Uh, just kind of an all-around good player. Uh, so if you guys, if he runs through this door, gets picked right here, uh, your main slayer has got to bounce around, get this kill, but then... Uh, like I said, you want him to be able to trade the kill, so he's got to be ready for another gunfight instantly, because that's just gonna—it's gonna wash the whole fake uh, that your other two guys are selling. 
Um, so you've really got to be ready. Uh, your main slayer's got to be ready for maybe one, maybe two gunfights, or to dip out, whichever you guys think is best. Uh, I like to stay here if you're going to do the B push. The bomb's over here. Uh, you may as well rotate the other players back and try to get this bomb down. But the main slayer, uh, after the bomb is down, uh, you want him to stay in this room. Watch mid street. There's for sure going to be somebody coming from over there. For sure, somebody going to be coming from here. So you're just wanting to look, uh, be smart about this, and staying alive here in this room, trading kills with the eight, uh, the OBJ, and letting your other players uh, distract and kill as long as they can. Um, back on offense, uh, this is really going to be the sell for this fake on your B push. Uh, this guy has to stay alive, 100%. He cannot challenge anything or this is going to fail miserably. Um, although if he does die, your main slayer and your OBJ need to push immediately and get the kill and the bomb down into B. Um, what this guy is going to be doing, uh, he's just going to be nading the shit out of both of these spots right here. Uh, stunning this. He doesn't really need nades because all he wants to do is slow down and distract the defense. He does not need to get any kills he does not need to be overly important in this uh, B push so what he's gonna be doing uh, is just trying to like, wall bang this guy right here uh, if he's in that corner there but don't challenge if you see him pop out just run the hell away don't challenge anything uh, if it gets too crazy there and you don't think that you can win any gunfights uh, if this guy shooting just make sure that he's always here that someone spots him but can't kill him that's the main objective you want this the guy in school you want him to rotate back to their base and watch mid street that's your goal because if you can pull back this guy watching mid street and your obj main slayer can get a trade and the bomb down over there it's going to be super hard to get into school with your main slayer and obj set up in that room so you want nades coming in from over here but and you want uh, for sure to make sure that uh, the defense is paying attention to you and not your guys being quiet over there on the other side of the map. All right, for your very last guy, this guy needs to be super vocal in the, the fact that he needs to call this cross and understand that this is super important for the main slayer and the OBJ going on the right side in a garage. So he needs to for sure see uh, that guy crossing and then he needs to watch mid street uh, it does not have to be a challenge he does not have to challenge that guy uh, but he can move up and just kinda lay right here he doesn't need to see this guy right here that's not important he just needs to be watching the front of that building uh, just <clears throat> allow the OBJ and the Slayer to get as close to B-bomb as you can because as soon as the defense snuffs this out, it's going to be super difficult and the bomb's going to get trapped back in garage and that's just not going to work out for your team. So this guy uh, maybe even needs to nade over here once, just kind of make some noise over there. But after he checks that initial cross, this is all he's doing is just sitting right here, uh, maybe even moving up to the ambulance, depending on whether the bomb's down or not. Uh, if the bomb does go down, he, want, he wants to stay in this mid street. Uh, if he can cut uh, the map down that much and maybe pick a guy going for the flank towards A or B, uh, that's going to be huge for your team and their ability to win this round. So that's all I've got for your offense, your A and your B push. I uh, hope you guys learned something, picked up on something that maybe I didn't put it in the comments below. And uh, let me know if you guys want me to keep doing this and let me know what map and game type you want to see next. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Search and